Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in. We're going to be looking at um, 9.0, the intro to three-dimensional shapes today. You are going to be writing down 15 things in your notes. Most of it is vocabulary terms. Um, so not a lot of calculations, just identifying vocabulary terms. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to write down is the first part of your vocabulary. Um, a vertex is a corner where two edges meet. An edge is a line segment that joins the two vertices, and then a face is an individual surface. So this right here, this is a vertex. Maybe this line right here, this can be considered an edge. There's lots of edges here. And then this whole entire front side and many others, that's going to be a face. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video and write down what you see, and once you're done, click play. Next thing we're going to talk about is a prism. A prism has identical ends called the bases, and the base is how you name the prism. So for instance, a rectangular prism has a rectangular base. A triangular prism has triangles as the base. And a pentagonal prism has a pentagon as its base. Okay, Bases are across from one another, so just make sure you see that. Um, and that's how you tell what kind of prism it is. So again, let's go ahead and pause the video and write down what prism is. Once you're done, click play. The third thing we're going to write down is what a pyramid is. And that's just when you have a base that's a polygon and the sides are triangles, which meet at the top. The base also determines the name of the pyramid. So again, if you have a square as your base, it's called a square pyramid. If you have a triangle as the base, it's called triangular pyramid. And if you have a pentagon as a base, it's called a pentagonal person, pyramid. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and pause the video now and write down what you see. Once you're done, click play. Oops, number four is a cone. That one only has one base, and it's always a circle, and only one vertex. This one's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and pause the video now, write down what you see, and then click play to go on to number five. Number five is a cylinder. You maybe want to think about this as a soup can or soda can. This has two bases. Both are circles. and has no vertices and no edges. So there's no sharp corners or um, sharp lines. Go ahead and pause the video now to write down number five, and once you're done, click play. The last one we're going to write down is sphere, and those are all the points are the same distance, so it's basically just a three-dimensional circle. There are no faces, bases, edges, or vertices. Again, let's take time now to pause, and once you're done, click play to look at number seven. All right, so the next few we're going to classify. So let's go ahead and pause here, and you're going to classify the figure below, and once you're done, click play to check your work. Since this one has a rectangle as a base, it's going to be rectangular. And since it goes up to one point and has triangles as faces, it's going to be a pyramid. So a rectangular pyramid. Number eight, go ahead and pause this one. Choose A, B, C, or D or excuse me, A, B, or C, and then once you're done, click play. So this one here is going to be considered C, a cylinder. Here's number nine. Go ahead and pause and try it. Once you're done, click play. This one has a rectangle as its base, and the rectangle is also right across from another rectangle, so that's going to be a prism. So we'll classify this one as rectangular prism. Number 10, another multiple choice. Go ahead and pause it, try it. Once you're done, click play. This one is going to be considered C, a triangular pyramid, because it's a triangle as a base, goes to one point, and has triangles as its faces. Here's number 11. Go ahead and pause and try to classify both figures. Once you're done, click play. The top figure, or it says just to classify the roof, that's going to be a triangular prism. The reason it's triangular is because there are two triangles across from one another. Even though it's sitting on a rectangle as a base, the rectangles are not the bases because they're not facing one another. So you have to be facing one another right across from one another. Okay. Number 12, you're actually going to do three things. You're going to count faces, edges, and vertices. So again, let's go ahead and pause it, try it, and once you're done, click play. So the faces, remember those are the two-dimensional shapes that make up the figure. I have one down here at the bottom, and then there are four on the outside, so that's two, three, four, and five in the back, so there are five faces, one on the bottom and four on the outer sides. 
for edges, I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And for vertices, those are the points that they come to. There's 4 down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5th would be at the top. So this one has 5 faces, 8 edges, and 5 vertices. Same thing here for number 13. Go ahead and pause to count the faces, edges, and vertices. For faces, I'm going to count two triangles and then three rectangles, one in, the t one in the front, one in the back, and then one here on the bottom. So that's five faces. How many edges? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine edges. And then for vertices, I'll bring it down here so you can see a little bit different. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six vertices. For number 14, again, let's go ahead and pause it. Count the faces, edges, and vertices. For number 14, this is a hexagonal pyramid. So we have one as the base and then six on the outer edge. So that's going to be seven faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven as the base. For the amount of edges, again, you just need to count all the lines. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six here on the bottom, and then six up here to, again, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve edges. For the final one on this page, it's vertices. So one at the top, and then two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So faces and vertices are the same, but there are 12 edges. A last one for your notes, this is a pentagonal prism. Go ahead and pause it, count the number of faces, edges, and vertices, and once you're done, click play. For faces, we have one, two at the top, and then three, four, five, six, seven all around. For the number of edges, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. The last part for the vertices, last part for the vertices, we have one, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So ten vertices for this pentagonal prism. That's going to conclude our notes for today, so just make sure you have those 15 things written. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Next time.